Hey everybody, thank you so much once again for joining me on Check This Out. This time around on our series, Can a Truck Driver Cook? I would like to take this episode in a slightly different direction. On the last few videos, I have really been getting into working with Asian cuisine lately. I've made egg fried rice, ramen, instant miso soup, and heck, even miso ice cream. This time I would like to travel halfway around the world and head over to the UK. They have a national dessert, or as they would say, a pudding, that I had long wondered about. I've heard many references to it in British movies and TV shows. I'm not sure if it ever appears in any of the Harry Potter books or movies, but I know that treacle tart was mentioned many times. And come to think of it, that's another one I'd like to try making sometime. But hey, that's another video for another day. I do know that it's been mentioned by Gordon Ramsay in many of his TV shows. Oh, come on. He's not like that all the time. By all reports, he's a really nice guy in real life. So put something more flattering up there, will ya? That's better. Thank you. There's one episode in particular from his Kitchen Nightmares series. The show was titled Morgan's. Morgan's was a restaurant owned and run by three beautiful ladies. Even though the ladies were lovely, the food was not. I believe he called their food, what did he say, overpriced stodge. Ouch. But that's just Gordon being Gordon, brutally honest as usual. But there was one thing there that he did like, and that was the dessert. Junior sous chef Emma is Phil's long-suffering sidekick. Her star turn is sticky toffee pudding, but Phil hates it. It's the Morgan's classic sticky toffee pudding. Hey! Mm, smell nice. <clears throat> For the first time this evening, I'm glad to be here. This is nice, light, mm. not too sticky. And that dessert is the subject of today's video. Yes, it's the one, the only, sticky toffee pudding. I once dined in one of Gordon's restaurants in Atlantic City called Gordon Ramsay Steak. He had sticky toffee pudding on the menu and I just had to give it a try. Oh man, it was rich, moist. The toffee sauce was buttery and completely decadent. I kept telling my wife on the way home, you know, when we get back, I'm going to make some sticky toffee pudding. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So let's get over to the kitchen and get started. Okay, sticky toffee pudding. If you've never had it before, boy, are you in for a treat. Our list of ingredients are gonna include flour, brown sugar, heavy whipping cream or double cream as it's called in the UK. And this is a UK dish. So we'll call it double cream, baking powder, baking soda, some butter, vanilla extract, salt, and we need one egg and one egg yolk. And last but not least, we have our fresh dates here. These have been pitted. If yours aren't pitted, make sure you take the pits out. And that's all we need for our cake or in the UK, we're going to go with UK here because this is a British dish. We'll call it a sponge. So the first thing we need to do is get our dates prepped. All right, first thing you want to do is grab yourself a saucepan, about a medium size there, probably about two quart. Add six ounces of dates and one cup of water. Now what you want to do is bring this to a boil, then we're going to add some baking soda, Put the lid on, cover it, and let it set for 10 minutes. We want these dates to be nice and soft because we got to puree them, and this will help soften them. So let's put the spurs to it and get it going up to a boil. Okay, now that we've reached our boil, you want to take half a teaspoon of baking soda, put it in, and keep on stirring for about one more minute. A few moments later. Okay, that's been about a minute. Let's turn off the heat. 
put a lid on and set our timer for 10 minutes. That should get them nice and soft. Then we can put them in a food processor and make a nice puree out of it. Now that our 10 minutes are up, let's go ahead. Oh yeah, the dates are much softer. Put all of our dates right into a food processor. Then go ahead and take whatever water is remaining. That'll help them puree up nicely. Put that right in there with them. Pop on our lid. Let's take a look. Yeah, we got a pretty nice puree there. Now let's get it out of the food processor and set it aside and let that cool. Okay, let's get our sponge started or cake. I started off by sieving together five and a half ounces or one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one half teaspoon of salt. And we'll go ahead and set that aside and start the creaming portion now. Now that we have our flour sieved together and ready to go, we're gonna take three quarter cup of packed brown sugar and four tablespoons of butter. Now we wanna mix that until it's light and fluffy. Now that we have it nicely creamed together, we're gonna to take one whole large egg and one egg yolk. Go ahead and mix that in. Okay, let's go ahead and put in our vanilla extract. And I need one and a half teaspoons. Give that a little mix. Now let's go ahead and add about half of our flour mixture. Uh, right about there. After we have half of it in, then we're going to add our date puree. And continue mixing. Once the date puree is fully incorporated, let's go ahead and add our second addition of flour. And continue mixing. You only want to mix that flour just for as long as you have to. Because once it gets wet, it starts forming gluten and you don't want a tough cake. And it looks like it's all thoroughly incorporated in there and we're going to stop right there. Okay, at this point we're going to take a standard 12 muffin muffin tin. Oh, make sure your stove is heated to 350 degrees. I did that a while ago, forgot to mention it. Now just go ahead and prep these. We're only gonna need 10 of the 12 for this recipe. So go ahead and lube them up with butter, shortening. I'm gonna use a little bit of cooking spray. Now we wanna fill up each one of these muffin tins to about, uh, about three quarters of the way up. Okay, that looks about right. I'm gonna smooth these off a little bit so that they bake even. So we're gonna pop these into a 350 degree oven for probably around 17 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven. I'm gonna shoot for an internal temperature of about 195 to 200. So let's go ahead and get those in there. While our sponges are baking, we're going to go ahead and get our toffee sauce together. And that's going to take two-third cup of heavy cream or double cream, one-third cup of butter, and two-third cup of brown sugar. 
Now let's go ahead and put the heat to that. I would say about medium. And we want to bring this up to a boil. Now that we've achieved a boil, just let that boil for three more minutes and then turn off the heat. Now the three minutes are up, let's turn off the heat. Add a tiny bit of salt, maybe about an eighth of a teaspoon. And a half a teaspoon of our vanilla extract. We're just going to leave that in the pan so that the heat from the pan keeps it nice and warm. We want it nice and warm when we put it on our, our little sponge cakes. They should be just about done. Well, it looks like our little sponge cakes came out absolutely perfect. I'm going to let those set for about five minutes so I can get them out of the pan. And then I took our sauce, transferred it to a squeeze bottle so we can top them off. This is a good way to do this because obviously unless you've got a big group of people, you're not going to be eating all these at once. So you can keep this refrigerated probably about five to seven days easily. Bring it out, warm it up in a glass of hot water or maybe about 30 seconds in the microwave. And the same with these two, maybe about 20 seconds in the microwave. Just get them a little bit warm, get the sauce a little bit warm, then go ahead and top them because this is a dish you really want a little on the warm side. So we'll let that go for five minutes and we'll come back and plate them up and take a look. There we have it. Our beautiful warm little sponge and our warm toffee sauce. So let's just top that off with a little bit. Let it run down the sides. Beautiful. And top it off with a little whipped cream. That looks absolutely delicious, but there's only one way to find out, right? We have to try a taste. That is absolutely decadent. There's something about those dates and the moistness they bring to it. Nice and soft in the middle. And then you got that buttery toffee sauce, the, the brown sugar, the butter. This is absolutely fantastic. So I really hope you guys give it a try. If you're fans of Harry Potter or fans of Gordon Ramsay or hate both of them, it doesn't matter. This is still delicious. So thank you once again for joining me. I've had more subscriptions come in this week, and I appreciate every single one of them. So hey, everybody, keep cooking, take care, and we'll see you next time on Check This Out.